Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am Brian. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. Today, I'm going to be doing a double wandering straight pour. I've got an idea in my head. I don't know if it's going to pan out very well. We shall see. I'm using a brown uh, in the paint in the uh, color palette. Browns scare me. I'm always worried about getting mud. So fingers crossed, everything comes out well. So let's get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size and the colors. I'll be right back. What I've got here is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. I've got it taped and push pinned on the back. We stick on some gloves and we can go over these colors and what we're going to do today. Uh, today's colors, I am using Creative Inspirations in the Paints Gray. Pepeo Studio Acrylic in the Blue Green. Amsterdam in the titanium white mixed with some DecoArt satin enamels. DecoArt 24 karat gold. Yum, yum, yum. And I'm using Amsterdam and the burnt umber. I'm going to flood my canvas with black, which is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in the black. Yes, I still have some flow acrylic. So that's going to be the base coat. And I'm going to do two straight pours. For a 20 by 24 canvas, you're gonna need about 17 ounces of paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up, uh, I've got two uh, 16 ounce cups, so I'm gonna fill them up to about eight ounces, nine ounces or so, flip in, we're gonna do straight pour and tilt it out. Quick and easy. So let's move this out of the way, we'll get started. So I got this color combination in mind because I was doing a bloom on a canvas and I chose these colors and they came out really great. Problem was, is my um, cell activator was not good. So they came out beautiful, but I don't have a lot of cells like you would for a bloom. And of course, I'm out of Aussie Floatrol and I can't get any. Everywhere seems to be out. <clears throat> so, a little bummed out about that. Okay, so since I'm using black as the base, what I want to do, I think first will be, let's go in with some of the raw umber. And then the gold next to that. And the white. Blue green. The paint's gray. Let's put. Let's isolate this paint's gray with some white before I stick more brown. We'll do two layers. I think that should be enough. That should be about eight ounces. Looks pretty thick and full. Let's do that again. Thank you. 
about even, good enough. Okay, so let's flood this canvas, make sure it's got mixed really well. start right here and I think I'm just gonna do like a little wandering I'm gonna go travel a little bit So let's give this a little torch. Let's see what we come up with. Thank you. 
I think I'm going to re-pour this. I'm not a big fan of that. So instead of doing two cups, I'm only going to do one. And I don't know that I'm going to have enough paint, but we shall see. King of the repours. I'm repouring again. Let's do straight pour, and I'm not going to travel. I'm just going to keep it right here. My paints are mixed with a uh, mix pour. You can get your mix pour from Krista Rasmussen at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Lots of cells popping up through here. That's really cool. All right, let's open this up a little bit. Thank you. 
Leave that right where it is. We're gonna clean up the edges and torch, and then I'll bring you in. All right, here we go. Looks great. Check out the lines. Again, mixed pour comes to the rescue. Second pour king. That's what I'm gonna get a t-shirt that says for myself. All right, I'm gonna start you up here in the top left. Okay, I'll let you see this dry, I'll be right back. Okay, here is the dried result. Um, I love this, I love the lines in it. It really dried well. Um, I love the colors and the composition as well too. It just really gives me this underwater feel. Um, let me bring you in here. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. The painting came out great. It is completely dry now. Uh, the browns really played well in this painting. Um, it's given me a completely underwater feel. Everything dried great. There's no, uh, there were no goobers in it drying. You gotta be careful sometimes when you're mixing up your paint that it will, uh, it could definitely give you some uh, lumps and bumps when it's drying. Um, I gotta say though, in the editing process, I was screaming at myself to stop and don't re-pour this. Um, so I think what I need to do moving forward is after I pour something, if I'm not liking it, I need to just step away, give it a couple of minutes, come back and look at it. Um, cause I didn't really hate the piece the first time. Um, when I was pouring it, I didn't like what I was seeing. I don't know, that black line, although I wanted to give that line in there, I wanted it to be more prominent, and it was just like a little thin strip, so I didn't really care for that so much, so that's why I report it to begin with, but I think if maybe if I would've stepped away and then come back to it, maybe I would've saw something completely different. So before you re-pour something, step away from the painting, come back and reevaluate it. Mina tells me this all the time, and I just, you know, when you're in the moment, you kind of, things go out the window, so. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Don't forget about the Fab collaboration. That's gonna start this Sunday at 1 p.m. All right, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.